Hello guys, in today's video I'm showing you more than 20 hidden Kaede Electro Claws. I'll show you how to throw them and what it looks like from the enemy's perspective. Also, I didn't find all these spots myself. I've learned some spots from friends, so you'll find their socials in the description below. These days, Thatcher is almost like a default attack in Ben. Even in the European League, he had a 56% Ben rate. This makes Kaede a super strong operator because you cannot open the wall without destroying the key claw, which could be in a well-hidden spot. So today, I'll show you some of these well-hidden spots. On the first map, Cafe, I've got a few different spots. The first spots are around the bakery wall. One of them is on the vents here. You cannot see it from prep, and you cannot shoot it from above. Another way to electrify this wall is to put the claw in bakery. If you stand against a muffin counter and throw the claw up here, it'll barely be visible because of the lighting above. There are two options to electrify the freezer hatch. One is to go prone here and throw the claw in the little desk here. Other option for when enemies already spotted this one is to throw it outside of the white door. This might be a bit obvious to spot out, but if enemies don't know where it is, they'll have a hard time finding it. Another way to electrify both the hatch and the walls in Freezer is to throw the electro claw here. The only downside to this one is that enemies can destroy it through the soft part of the freezer wall. A really well hidden electro claw to electrify the freezer wall above is here in the 90 hallway. Line yourself up with the lights, shoot open the ceiling, and hide the electro claw in the open part. If you don't know it's there, you'll have a hard time finding it. On to the second map we go, which is Oregon. For the upstairs objective, there are two unexpected claws to electrify the attic wall. You throw the first one out of the kid's dorm's window. You'll have to aim high, otherwise it doesn't land far enough. Same goes for the claw that you throw out of the window at the top main stairs. You can spot the electro claws if you're outside, but enemies won't be expecting the claws to be there. For the downstairs objective, I have one of my favorite electro claws to use. This one right here electrifies both the wall in supply as well as the meeting hatch. Located a bomb. The other claw could be used to electrify up to three walls around blue. On our next map, Consulate, I have an electro claw which seems indestructible from above. Place it right here on the box next to the garage wall. And yes, it'll only get one of the walls, but it seems to be indestructible. There are two ways to electrify the bathroom hatch. One is to put it in between the two sinks here, which makes it hard to spot out. If enemies do spot it, an alternative would be to hide it in the bathroom cabinets here. And for the last one on consulate, if you open the circle desk, you can put one electro claw in it right here to electrify the lobby hatch. Located a bomb. In Clubhouse, there are a few electro claw spots to electrify the CCTV wall. One is in the corner here towards the top red stairs. The other claw goes in the top part close to the baby steps in garage. Together, they electrify the entire CCTV wall.
An alternative for the garage claw is to put it behind the TV in the stack here. You can't see it from the rafters window, but there is a way to destroy it from underneath if you use IQ's gadget scanner. To electrify the hot tub wall, you can place an electric claw in the toilets downstairs. Place it on this wooden beam and it electrifies the wall above. You can only destroy this one from underneath in toilets. On Puri, I got one electric claw, which is kind of visible, but enemies won't expect it to be there. Place it on the outside of the wall on these decorations here. It blends in a bit with the wall due to the colors. For our next map, Villa, I have one electric claw for the aviator walls. Stand in the corner and throw it on the wing of the plane. If you throw it on plane here, it'll get both of the walls. Enemies cannot shoot it from the other side. On the 1-2 final map, Theme Park, there are some interesting spots to electrify walls. First, on the wall towards the yellow stairs, you can hide an electric claw under the cashier here. The other one goes on the wall next to this box. You can put it higher on the wall or lower, it doesn't matter. In the 90 hallway, you can shoot out a part of the ceiling to hide an electric claw. This goes towards the cash wall above. In control room, you can hide an electric claw to get four walls all at once. If you shoot open the floor, you can throw the electric claw in it. You have to reinforce the control room walls afterwards, otherwise you can't fit the claw in the floor. This claw electrifies the throne walls as well as the control room walls. On the final map, Canal is an electro claw to electrify the control room hatch. You can put it on the lamp here. This was the final electro claw. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like the most. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.